Today is Palm Sunday, a day we remember um, Jesus coming into Jerusalem a few days before he died, um, riding on a donkey. Um, this was a day where Jesus was celebrated like a celebrity, um, coming through Jerusalem on none other than a donkey. <laughs> um, you can read it in Matthew 21. People were shouting, um, shouting Hosanna, waving palm branches, laying out their clothes on the floor for him to walk on. Um, how many times though do we think of this story and think we know it and um, we maybe we read it every year and just like, yeah, just like it's a normal story. We might have read it right from, like way back when we read it in our, um, in our picture Bibles or maybe haven't heard it, which is fine. Um, but how many times do we not think of its significance? How many times do we not think how important it is to the story of Jesus, you know, being victorious? Um, and we're going to think of that significance now. So this day was prophesied. Um, it was basically predicted and told that it would happen um, in the, back in the Old Testament in Zechariah 9 verse 9. Um, they'd been waiting for the time that this Messiah would come, the Saviour would come to help them and deliver them from all their, they thought, their earthly needs. Um, they kept thinking they'd found him, but yeah, they, they didn't know that Jesus would turn up, the divine um, king. Um, important people, I've heard, um, rode in um, in those times on donkeys. Um, instead of horses. Uh, Jesus probably had more right than anyone to come riding in on a huge stallion um, but it was it was also prophesied that he'd ride a donkey but he chose to go through with this. Um, it's a sign of peace um, instead of coming through raging war um, on a horse and um, it's a sign that he's come to fulfil that um, showing peace. Um, and it really shows that Jesus is that Prince of Peace, the, the person that is the ultimate um, bringer of peace. It's not just an, an intention of bringing peace though, it's a proper like eternal promise. He'll always bring us peace and nothing will stop him from doing that. People waved palm branches and shouted Hosanna and laid down their, their coats. Um, this was a sign of goodness and victory. Um, this was a few days, if that, before he went and died on the cross. And yeah, people might not have known it, um, but yeah, he was about to be victorious over death. Um, in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 55, it says, O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? This verse symbolises the greatest achievement anyone's ever been able to um, to do and it also shows the the ultimate act of love that Jesus was able to give us um, he chose to go and die in the most gruesome way to save us to be that ultimate savior um, and that was defeating death so that we could live um, when they shouted Hosanna that means save now they were looking for this savior they were always waiting for this king um, but they didn't know that it would save them from um, not just their earthly needs, but their like eternal needs more than um, just what they thought they would get. Um, they didn't know that God was going to give them so much more. And that's so important. It was going to be freedom from sin, freedom from um, all those, those hurts. And yeah, he was going to give them eternal life as well. And the Bible um, says that Jesus wept over Jerusalem. Um, he knew that the people that were praising him then were also the people that in a, a couple of days were gonna turn on him and say, you know, they, they were saying Hosanna now, they were praising him, but in a few hours they were gonna be saying kill him. Um, and he wasn't just sad about that, um, the fact that he would be hated by people but he was also grieving and mourning over the fact that how broken humanity was and how 
yeah, these people were going to be blinded um, just by this hatred and going along with the crowd and, and just, yeah, turning on him um, in such a horrible way. Jesus felt this human emotion, which I find incredible because, you know, we don't always think of Jesus as human. Um, but yeah, he was able to feel this human emotion and really grieve the a place like Jerusalem. So Palm Sunday reminds us that Jesus' kingship is far greater than any king that we could have. No other king has given humanity so much and so much to be thankful and to have hope about. We often look for answers in earthly things, earthly people, um, not maybe what God can give us. Um, but as we go into this Holy Week, as we call it, the lead up to Easter, um, we can remember that it ends in the biggest victory, and that's Jesus um, defeating death, victory over death, um, which is just incredible. So Easter's going to seem weird this year. Um, it's, it's not going to be the same as any other year, but in, let me encourage you that the message stays the same. Um, the message that Jesus is king, the true king, the true saviour, um, Jesus is victorious over death and Jesus gives life um, and we have so much to give thanks for with that. Amen.